Go on then.
Junk.
Another giant. No, never. I will pay it no notice. One of its troop has an air of nobility about it, but this one. Yeah. A vast continent full of. What do you want? Boss is busy. Beast strokes his beard for a few seconds, buries his hand inside it, then whips it out again to display his extended middle finger. He marches past, finger still raised, to the chagra of the gawking guard. Um, yeah. Well, I don't care. But he tries that with the boss. What do you want? Boss is busy. Loha, you've been living under a boulder. Good. Boss could use some good news. Listen up. Don't waste his time. These are explosive times. Be respectful. Is that what you want, Marla? We're not here to chit-chat with the likes of you.
You're really ticking me off, Marla. Easy. Marla's one of us. Not no more, she ain't. Come, Marla. You're one of us, ain't you? Tell us what happened. Maybe I ought to take a finger or two. Don't you think, boss? I brought you up from girl to woman, Marla. Like you was my own. This. He lifts his right arm, showing a white bandage beneath his ribs. A wet red spot. This ain't the thanks I expected. Who sent you? <laughs> the formidable dwarf slams his fist on the side table. You hear a loud crack. Enough! Do you know they killed Anhar? Do ya? Start talking sense or I'll take that tongue right out of your mouth and fry it for supper. Beast growls under his breath and slowly reaches for his weapon. Bart! Kate! Get her to talk or bleed her out. She ain't one of mine anymore. And you. You're a brave lad waltzing in here now. I know who you are, you know. The beast of the sea. What brings you to this good-for-nothing town? Operation Downfall, you numbskull. And you'll tell me what you know, or I'll turn your guts inside out and stuff them down your throat. Disgusting. Well, before you go blood-crazed... You should know the Queen's no friend of mine, not no more. He hawks a wad of spit on the floor, then motions to the room around him. I'm a businessman. I can't say I always keep things on the up and up, but I don't think a rogue pirate's got a lot of room to judge a man for his various trade concerns. And what Justinia's cooking up ain't so good for my bottom line. I don't want to help Justinia. I want to stop her. Beast considers Lohar's words for a moment, then sheaths his weapon, and motions to Lohar to keep talking. I thought you'd see things my way. Come, make yourself comfortable. We'll have a chat when you're ready. Tell the truth now. Who was he that sent you? What did you think was going to happen? Brave lad, waltzing in here now. I hope for your sake you've got good news for me. She alive? I'm impressed. Magister who's it laid into her pretty hard. You one of her little seekers? Chasing down Godwoken and begging them to save us all? I heard rumor so? What do you want? Reckon I do. Knowing Siva, she sent you looking for sorcerers, I bet. I could help you, but last I heard you was working for the Magisters. Big shots at the boats. Now, why in the name of all the Earths would I help a worm like that? An unpleasant smirk twitches around the corners of his mouth. Right. I reckon I could help you out, depending on what you can do for me. He gestures towards the bandage across his side. Had a bit of family trouble lately. My girl Marla got it in her head to come after me with a short blade. That ain't like Marla. Ain't like her to pull the silent treatment either. Something's going on. And wouldn't you know it, that blade she used wasn't any normal bit of steel. Belonged to another of my people. Guy's name is Mordus. 
Bit of a loner, but smart as hell. I sent a few guys to go check on him, see if he knew what had got into Marla, but no one can find him. I'd like a word with the guy. Glad you see it that way. No one's seen him in a good few. I've got some people checking out his house near the tavern now, though. Tell them I sent you, and they'll let you know what they've found. Truth is, they might be glad to see you. Reckon a sorcerer will have better luck finding one of their own. Well, like I said, Maldus is a special guy. A sorcerer, matter of fact. Maybe even one of the ones Seaver's after. If there's something you want to find out from him, you might want to ask before I have my word with him. Here, you can take this off my hands. More suited to your kind, really. Good luck. Better get out there before Maldus makes it all the way past Arx. All right? Whatever needs doing. Isn't that obvious? That's right. Lost one of my best lads, Anhar. Didn't get Jalia's body back, though. Maybe one of them beasts took her like they did the sorcerers. Less... Well, I reckon that's good news. P poor thing. She'll be back in time. She and Anhar were sweethearts. We will, once the Reds turn down the alarm a bit. They're jumpy as all hell for the moment. Won't do anyone any good to raise a ruckus now. I almost feel bad for ya. Almost. You're one of us. How could you leave me be, lizard? This traitor needs my attention. Step off, lest you want a taste. The battered dwarf pulls her lips back into a garish, open-mouthed grin, flashing blood-stained teeth. <laughs> You're making this much harder than it needs to be. any mood to talk about it buying or selling capital good luck to you worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Well, don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Keeping it 
you're safe among friends. Never forget it. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right. You're safe Back friends. again, eh? It's free to look. Just don't touch nothing unless you're gonna make fair travels, friend. How are you holding up? Not in any mood to talk about it. Back for a return visit. Have at it. Got yourself situated. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Yep, yep. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it. Glad to see you well. Anything more? Hear ye! Hear ye! Divine order to march against the ancient empire! How are you holding up? Until later, then. Mentioned. It looks unassuming enough. You best get. The dwarf unfolds her arms and shoots to her feet. All right, lizard. Right glad Lohar ain't left to see to wither. Those brutes are taking their sweet time down there. I gotta send word soon. Who knows? Anything that gives away what Mordus has been up to. Probably got all sorts of tricks for covering his tracks, but the goons downstairs should sniff out something. That weird priest's been hanging around Lohar for ages. Now he's vanished. Poof. Those half-wits below will know more. Get to it then. But tell the lunkheads that Glen has sent you before they bash your brains in. Maybe if we had a crowbar. You think a crowbar would open this thing? Oh, you got rocks knocking around that noggin of yours. We'd have more luck 
asking Duna to open it for us than for it to budge by our own hands. What's this? I found something. I've spotted something. A uh, skull? It's missing an eye. As far as locks go, this one's pretty macabre.
Go on then. Garbage.
Wary. The urns will shatter. The bones will rise. The glowing corpse looks to you. The erratic rising and falling of its sternum is accompanied by melodramatic gurgles. Come. Come to me. The creature murmurs a series of unfamiliar noises that amount to absolutely nothing. The creature groans unpleasantly. You see an undead figure chained to a torture rack, bones glowing a sickly green as if lit from within. It raises its head to look at you before lowering it again, exhausted from the effort. Please! Release me! 
Mordus, the priest, not what he claims to be. Without me, he is nothing. A worm, a grub. He doesn't draw upon his own strength, his own source. With this contraption, he draws upon mine. Free, free me. Release me from Mordus' torture. Your hand brushes against the skeleton's porous bones, and it convulses. Your source begins to drain into the beast. Source continues to drain from you until your weakened form slumps, breaking contact with the creature. The creature shivers, then emits a shout that reverberates through the chamber. I am Zash! The light may not illuminate me, yet in darkness I cannot hide. The beast goes silent and looks toward the nearby panel. Light, freedom, danger. Releasing me releases them. Them? Them? The skeleton ekes out a crackling moan. <laughs> the panel. Seven bless you. Nice. A vast continent full of people. 